Welcome back to GTEC Motorworks guys. So today I've got an update video for you. I've had lots of messages from different different people all over the place. I never realized this much content was coming our way and this much attention was gonna come our way. So I'm gonna do an update video on certain projects we've got going on. So follow me. The first one we're gonna speak about, we're going back to the woods, the Audi A2, let's go. So as you know, this was a long-term project. It took us three years to get it out of the woods. So the update with this, since the last time it was on the video, we have done some more welding to it. Now guys, this is specialist welding. It's aluminium welding, TIG welding. So it needs to be very, very nice and sealed. Our very good fabricator, well, I can't, I can't uh, TIG weld, I can only MIG weld, okay? So we've got our good friend who comes and helps us and does this. So we've welded all these seam joints around here because we need to make sure this is all watertight before it goes for it's like a, because it's like a, it's basically a kit car, we've, we've transformed it. It needs to go to the uh, Vosa or DVSA and basically have a full check over. So it's coming, we've got more content on this coming guys. It's, it's a beast, don't worry about this. It lives in the woods and it's not going nowhere until we've finished it. So it's just that bit of welding left really. I've also got, um, we've got um, the boot and the back, we basically need to design a mechanism where it slots in. So we're currently just working out some drawings on how to do that as well. This piece here as well, I think we've decided what we're gonna do with this is probably trim it down all the way across and then basically fill it in here and get it flush because I don't like the look of this. What, what do you think we're gonna do overall with it? Overall, guys, overall guys, because lots of you have been messaging me about this. Overall, what we're going to do is literally get it running and ready and roadworthy. It's still going to have the, the Beast 1.4 TDI 200 horsepower engine, not really. But it's still going to have the 1.4 TDI engine in it. Once we've got it running and it's, it's all fine, then we're going to ask you, what do you want us to do? Do you, wanna, do you want us to put a big V10 in the back of it? Do you want us to put, I don't know, 190 DI in it, 18 turbo? What do you want us to do? The possibilities are Do endless. you think as well it would be a good idea that once it's running, take it to some car meets yeah. and get some, get some people's opinions there and see what they think? Yeah, definitely. I mean, you, you'll be seeing this, guys, the A2 pickup, uh, GTEC Motorworks. You'll be seeing us at Cafe and Machine. Uh, next year it will make it to petrol hedonism, not this year because it's not really ready. Um, so you'll see it, you'll see it all over. I mean, thank you for all your comments and inputs. You've been messaging us and everything. We are on this, but we've got so much stuff for you coming, exciting stuff. Let's move on, look. Say bye to the A2 and we'll be back. Wicked, wicked car. A bit before my time, you know, I'm an E46 man. E36, three liter M3. Techno violet or purple, whatever you call it. Look at the color, yeah? So guys, a little bit about the E36 M3. Like I said, it's a bit before my time. I haven't actually worked on these myself. I was an E46 guy, that's why I own one. Um, the three, they did a three liter, which is this one, and a 3.2 Evolution. Um, the three liters are actually more rare. So I, I have seen this car. This guy's had it for 27 years, okay? He's a local Derby guy. And I used to see this when I was a kid and I used to like get so excited about it. Like, oh, there's an M3, right? And obviously now he's come to my garage, so privileged by that. Um, he's had it for 27 years, basically since new. Uh, yeah, we're just doing some resto stuff on it, guys. Suspension, uh, he's got a few other things he wants to service and things like that. So have a look around it, it's nice. I thought I'd just pop this in the update video as well. You know, it's the first time in eight years I've seen one of these in my garage, and the only one I've ever seen is actually this one driving around Derby. So, yeah, there you have it E36 M3, the three liter, but this has got the full AC Schnitzer kit on it as well, so which makes it even more rare. Okay, guys, so enough of the E36 M3, let's talk about the 123D track car. I've had loads and loads and loads and loads and loads of comments about this. Look inside. I know you're gonna think, oh, it's messy and it hasn't changed since last time. This is going to the Nürburgring on the 5th of May. We literally have 30 days left. Literally, right? It's running, it's fast, 
all the mods are done to it we've just got to clean the wiring up tidy it up loose ends um engine wise let's have a look everything in the in the engine bay is done don't forget we've got two of these a good friend of mine andy who inspired me to do this we just he's took a few bits off this because his was going through testing he's just had some turbos on it hybrid ones so we've just got to build the top up and then we've literally got to do a few road tests in it. The suspension needs setting up. Obviously the fully adjustable coilovers on this. So we've got to set the camber and everything. Uh, we're crazy mad bastards actually are driving this down to Folkestone on the 4th of May. There's about 15 of us going. Uh, we're going to drive this down there, stop the night there and then get on the ferry and basically head over to the Nürburgring. And I'm so excited. Um, so yeah. Then after that we've got to do the four wheel alignment and then it's ready pretty much. So the ones who keep messaging me about this, that's the update on the 123D, it's alive, it's ready. It's so guys, that's my new Audi R8. Look at the colour, it's awesome isn't it? Yeah, that's good. Velvet purple, there's only three in the UK apparently. I have done lots to this car to get it perfect. Um, we are going to be taking this next door to complete car cosmetics because they have fully restored the bodywork. If you know me, I like to do things properly. It had a few little stone chips in different areas and I want to take this to Topaz. It's actually booked in on Thursday with my good, good friend Haz who looks after me. Uh, it's going there on Thursday. So just have a look at the wheels guys. This, these are the wheels that went to Wheelmania. So big shout out to Wheelmania. Mick looked after us there. Uh, they did a fantastic job um, on the wheels obviously as you know one of them was a, a little bit caught in the in the last R8 it looks amazing what do you think to it Joe? yeah that's cool that's right. can we hear it? you can hear it yeah you want to hear it? you can't beat the sound of a V10 can no. you Jack? no We have one more day left. Tomorrow, NAS Automotive are coming to pick the R8 up. It came in yesterday to Chris at Complete Car Cosmetics for the final touches before it goes to Topaz for the 24 stage clean and the full PPF cover. So let's just go and we'll go inside. We'll have a look at my car. How are you, Chris? <laughs> we just came to uh, how's our RA doing? All right, it's all done. It's all done, yeah. Yeah, turn up and turn out Yeah, let's go. Can we come through the back door? <laughs> yeah, so there, there it is, guys. It's all. Uh... It's all done. Yeah, it's all done. Uh, so a full respray, full rebuild. It looks exactly showroom finish. Exactly as it should do. No chips, no scratches, no scuffs, no dents. Okay. This is an excellent Perfect. basis now for Topaz to sort of do their extensive treatment on it and then they'll just seal it up with the uh, clear PPF and that way the paint can be protected. So Chris and his team have done a lot of uh, hard work on this car, especially for the Yeah, Lots of hours going into this. We obviously know how Inti likes his cars and he likes them to be right. So, uh, so yeah, we've put a lot of man, man hours into it. Uh, it's been through the boot, it's been baked. So yeah, I think it looks absolutely perfect. Thank you, Chris, for uh, looking after us, man. Appreciate that. So guys, if you need anything as well, these kind of projects, Chris takes them on all the time. Complete Car Cosmetics, Derby. You can either check them on Facebook, or on Instagram, Instagram, or Google. I'll put a link in the description. the day has come um, NAS Automotive have come to pick uh, the Audi R8 E10 Plus it's on the way to Topaz over to you Haz and 
and uh, yeah we'll see it in a few weeks once it's got full PPF on it. Guys don't forget to like, share and subscribe, GTEC Motorworks, Derby's BMW, Volkswagen Audi Group Specialist. I can't wait until this is done so I can just get back in it and start driving it. Yeah, it's been a fun journey but on the way to Topaz.